What's up everyone? I am the Kaijin Okami and this is my quickie review for One Piece Stampede. This video is brought to you by Loot Crate. Do you like cool mystery boxes that are full of cool stuff? Go to lootcrate.com slash kaijinokami and put kaijinokami in the coupon code to receive 10% off your order. It helps you help me help you help me. Remember, lootcrate.com slash kaijinokami coupon code kaijinokami. Now to our video. One Piece Stampede is the latest movie for the long-lasting One Piece anime series, manga series. It's actually meant to celebrate the 20th anniversary, and it definitely does that. In fact, of the last four One Piece movies that are canonical to the series, I'd say this is easily the weakest. Film Goat is probably my favorite of them all, especially because of that little heist aspect it has going on. Don't get me wrong, Stampede was a really good movie, but it's basically one giant battle sequence as opposed to having an actual plot and story and character development like the other few movies that we've recently had have had. It also doesn't help that because it is a 20th anniversary movie, they're trying to throw in every character they can that has shown up in the series, except for just a select few. And as such, the Straw Hat Pirates outside of Luffy pretty much get dumped to the wayside. They still have a couple moments of screen time, but not enough. So if you're like me as a Frankie fan and a Robin fan, you're going to be kind of left like, oh man, they didn't do much with them. I mean, at least Robin gets a little bit more screen time than Frankie does, but still it was kind of like, ah. It was cool to see Bella Hancock and Crocodile on the big screen, I'll say that. Thankfully, despite being 20 volumes behind in the manga, I didn't feel like there were that many spoilers that felt like I was like, oh man, oops. Ouch, I didn't know that happened, but okay, I do now. I know what to expect when I get to that point. I wish I could tell you how the dub was, but my theater accidentally showed it in Japanese, which was no big deal. I love One Piece in both languages. I think they are equally good because the voices fit both in English and Japanese. It's just that I had paid and went in to the dub version, so I was expecting to be able to watch it dubbed. Wasn't anticipating subtitles, so the first few minutes of the movie, I had to adjust myself to get set for reading subtitles in a movie theater. Like I said, it's no big deal. It's just kind of annoying when you go in like, okay, I'm going to do this one. Oh, I'm doing this one. Okay, cool. If you're a One Piece fan, you're most likely going to enjoy this. If you're not a One Piece fan at this point, there's probably nothing in this movie that's going to sell you on One Piece. I would say if you're curious about One Piece, but you don't want to dive into the anime, you're kind of like, well, do I want to read the manga? I would say watch Film Gold and Instead is an introductory movie. It does a lot better getting you a feel for the main characters. Every Straw Hat member in that movie got a great amount of screen time. So you could say, hey, I actually like that guy and I like that guy. This one didn't really have that. Overall, though, I'm going to give One Piece Stampede a solid 8 out of 10. Are you a One Piece fan? If so, let me know in the comments. Are you not a One Piece fan? What's keeping you from getting into One Piece? Is it just that you're afraid to dive into a series that is 900 episodes long? has 90 volumes of manga to go through. Do you just not like the art style? I know some people are thrown off by the art style. I personally love it because it's something different from what you have in all these other anime series, especially shonen anime series when you have like Dragon Ball, Naruto, Bleach, where they all look like the same characters over and over. Either way, post in the comments, click like, click subscribe, Click the bell notification, click whatever else YouTube has you clicking on to support me. You can support me on Patreon at Kaiju no Kami, Twitter at Kaiju no Kami, Facebook Kaiju no Kami, and my website is creativitybydesignllc.com. And until next time, bye.